Hey guys, welcome to the uh, shortwave radio channel. One of the things that's interesting here where I am, and I'm kind of a little puzzled as why, is that when I'm at home, the biggest problem I have with the XH Data D219 is FM breakthrough. And there's a little bit here, but it's nothing compared to home. But I got another type of problem here, and it's this. Everywhere on every band that I listen to, I get this big mishmash of I get this big mix of local stations of all sorts. And at first I thought because I'm clear you no know, close to Laval and and 1570 kilohertz in Laval there is a station there that's I believe beaming towards the east, which would be I mean I am in the vicinity. And indeed in this mix of signals that station is in there so I'm guessing that maybe that station overpowers the radio here maybe the signal of that station is so strong where I am that actually it overpowers the uh, the radio itself and sometimes when you get these overpowering what happens is that you also have the um, the mix the mixing product the mixing product of the station that also is a big problem so when you get the strong signal and the weaker signal mixing in, it kind of creates that mix of stations that you hear. So it's kind of interesting to see this. And I mean, I tune around. So as you see, it's everywhere, everywhere. So I got to be careful how I position the radio. Uh, one test that I did was turn the radio because it has ferrite. So if the ferrite is less sensitive to a certain signal, maybe, you know, that will work. And actually when I put it in a certain direction, I seem to have less problem with that. Um, it's worse here than where I was, and I'm actually a little more to the west than I was. Uh, so this is very interesting, and you know, I can't complain too much. You gotta remember that the XH Data D219 is very inexpensive. So of course, it doesn't have all the front end protections that um, you know, more, more advanced radios have, but for the price that it is, you've heard me in the last video, I heard Radio France quite well, I heard Voice of America on a 16 meter band, and of course, uh, it, it picks up a lot of stations, it's uh, sensitive enough for that, but it comes at a price, it comes at a price that, because there's no front end protection, depending on your situation, if you live close to some stations, you might find it rough to use, but if you live in um, rural areas where, you know, stations tend to be weaker, you could probably get some surprising performance out of this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.